So what are factorials? To answer this, we need to explore a different problem. How many ways can we permute a list of objects? For instance, two objects, A and B, can be permuted in two ways, A and B or B and A. If we wanted to do this more systematically, perhaps we can look for a permutation by considering each space in the list and what possible inputs there are for it. For instance, in the first space we can have either A or B, there's two possible inputs. In the second space, we can have whichever input we didn't use in the first space, meaning there's only one possibility. Therefore, the number of inputs is equal to 2 times 1, or just 2. We can try this again with a list of three objects, A, B and C. There's three choices for the first input, A, B or C. The second input has two choices, whichever inputs didn't go in the first box. And again, the final box has one input, whichever one wasn't picked in the second box. Hence, there's 3 times 2 times 1 possible permutations, or 6. This operation, finding the number of permutations of free objects, is called free factorial. Strictly, n factorial is defined like this. Slightly strange algebraic explanations aside, it's effectively an operation of multiplying a number by itself, followed by itself minus 1, all the way down to 1. This leaves one counting number unaccounted for, however. 0. What is 0 factorial? Perhaps the best way to tackle this is to remember that n factorial is a measure of the number of permutations of n objects. There's exactly one way to permute a list of 0 objects, it's simply an empty list. Hence, we say that 0 factorial equals 1.